So hello and welcome to the 12th episode of the Spotlight Podcast, the unofficial podcast for Century 21 sales representatives in Canada, where we discuss the hot topics and important news in the real estate industry. So I'm your host, Linus Kilius, and with me, as always, is Aaron Richardson. Hello. Aaron is a broker and general manager with Century 21 Heritage Group. Aaron has an extensive background in online marketing, technology, and customer service. And I'm the head of business development at the real estate marketing company, Homania. And today we've got a great show. We're actually going to be focusing today's discussion on the upcoming national conference in Vancouver at the end of October, the big 40-year anniversary for Century 21 Canada and what we can expect. And who better to discuss this with than our guest today, Chioko Kikino, Century 21 Canada's Vice President of Marketing. So Chioko, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. I'm sure it's probably been pretty busy for the last little while leading up to conference. Have you guys been really swamped in uh, corporate there recently? Yes, we've been swamped getting ready for conference, but also kind of uh, launching other projects such, such as uh, our new kind of online office 3.0. Um, and we're also actually doing a camp drive right now for Easter Seals as well. So we are busy working on a lot of different projects. Well, I'll take advantage of that quick segue because there's a little bit of news. Uh, Century 21 just released today Online Office 3.0. They've done some updates, mostly performance enhancements and some improvements in navigation and stability as well. Uh, we won't go into the details of it, uh, but if you for a full list of changes, please check the link in the show notes. We'll have it all there. There's quite a laundry list of things that have been added and upgraded. It's always nice to see things like this being updated and added constantly and improving constantly. So we're always happy when we see that coming from corporate. Absolutely. So Chioko, tell us a bit about the conference. When is it? How do we sign up? Just give me some background information on the conference. Great. Well, um, the conference is taking place on October 28th to the 30th of this year, of course, in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. So we're having it at the Western Bayshore and people can register at c21.ca forward slash cc2016. So we hope that everyone will attend. We want to have actually the biggest conference and the biggest attendance that we've had in the last 10 years. Well, I sure hope so. It's on your home turf too, with, with corporate being over in Vancouver. So I expect we'll see a big uh, turnout from corporate as well. Yes, all hands on deck. So we're really excited. You know, a lot of the people at head office here will have a chance to meet uh, system members and brokers. And so they're really, really excited to have it here in Vancouver. For sure. So I've been to the past couple of conferences and when, when I've talked to agents who haven't gone to the conferences before, I've always, I've always wondered why uh, they haven't gone. And I think that's one of the big questions that, you know, a lot of agents might have that haven't been before is like, you know, I'm an agent. I would like to go out to Vancouver, but, you know, I've got to book flights, got to book hotels. It can be quite costly. Like what is the advantages as an agent or as a broker or, or even a third party vendor like, uh, like I am uh, coming out to conference? Like what's the big drive and why should I come out? Well, as you know, because you've been to conferences before, it is an absolutely fantastic event. Um, first of all, as, as you mentioned, it's a milestone birthday for us. So it's our 40th anniversary. And again, it's taking place at the Western Bayshore in Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, really, the Western Bayshore was where it all began for Century 21 Canada. It was the place that we had our first franchise sales meeting. So we're really excited to be back there in that hotel. Um, but really, you know, it's a three day conference format. It gives system members really a chance to hear about the brand's future plans, um, to learn from different industry experts, and also gives them the opportunity to network with fellow Century 21ers, as well as other partners and suppliers like yourself. So Aaron, uh, you've been to the past couple conferences at least, because I've seen you there personally. Um, as an agent, as a manager, why is it that you end up going to these conferences on a regular basis? No, it's, it's, you know, um, some of the things that Joka already said with regards to um, learning and networking amongst the other agents. I, I find the biggest feedback I get from uh, agents as well as what I've uh, experienced going to the conference, not only do you get to uh, network amongst the agents, which, you know, is a huge uh, opportunity for referrals um, across Canada, uh, but you also get to put some, you know, faces to names and get to meet some of the people at the, uh, at the head office. So um, anytime you're dealing, whether it be a, even technical issues or anything at all, with regards to Century 21, some marketing initiatives and all that kind of stuff, you're more comfortable to talk to and communicate with those people. So that always helped with uh, uh, that as well. But it's a, it's just a great event to uh, 
um, to to attend. And as soon as you go to the first one, you don't have to have a reason to go to the next because you just know it was such a great time. And um, if you're looking at it from a cost perspective, you can always justify it with the referrals. So and it is a business write off too, right? And it's a that's a big one too for sure. Yeah. Yeah, well, I've always enjoyed it. I've had a, a really good time. I've met lots of interesting people and agents from across the country, too. So from my perspective, it's been a really great uh, process for me. And I imagine, like you said, the referral network is, is huge and very important. If, if you have someone uh, that you meet from, say, Calgary, and they have someone you know who's planning to move to Toronto, and they know you, Aaron Richardson, is in the Toronto area, he might be giving you a call to get you some referrals, right? So getting that referral network is always big. I always see whenever I go to these conferences, too, you can see the agents who are really working on having the kind of national referral network. And I can see the strength in that too, for sure. And I have received referrals and I've given <laughs> referrals. So it works. I mean, there's no doubt the referral and uh, and the things works. And you you end up talking to somebody, whether it be over a dinner or over, you know, maybe an after party or something like that. You end up talking to people, so diff different things they do in their business. And you always pick up a couple of things that just, you know, helps you motivate uh, yourself and, and the people around you at the office. You bring back information for the for the other people at the office and then they come with you next year. And it's just it creates an atmosphere of kind of a win win and winning and positive. And it's just great. It's perfect. Yeah. One yeah. thing I definitely want to point out is that anytime I've gone, I've had a lot of fun. It's not yeah. just yeah, it's, it's, a conference has great content, which I'm sure we'll talk about in a bit, but it's actually an enjoyable experience too. I've mm -hmm. been to a lot of conferences that are dry and boring. Like there's great content maybe, but it, they don't really have that fun aspect to it too. And the nice thing about Century 21, it is kind of like, you know, your, your Century 21 family, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so you'll, you, it's great, especially if you go with some friends from the office, you can meet other friends. There's, there's social events as well, which I'm sure Kyoko uh, is going to tell us about a bit about in a bit. Um, but yeah, just, just so everyone knows it is, it can be like a vacation as well with a conference in the middle of it. And, yeah. and it is very enjoyable. I suggest people go out if, for nothing else for the fun aspect as well. Yeah. So Chioka, you mentioned that there's some great content. Can you tell us, can you give us any sneak previews, sneak peeks about what we can expect? Like any sort of word on any of the speakers we might be hearing from? Absolutely. So um, just to let you know too, the whole theme of the conference is really kind of revolves around being the best that you can be. So we want to acknowledge where we came from in the past. Of course, since it's our 40th anniversary, we want to talk a little bit about the history of Century 21 uh, in Canada. We also want to celebrate where we are today because that's I think that's really important to just like stop and, and take a moment to really celebrate where we've got to today. And then we want to get people excited about the future of the brand because we're excited here at head office and we definitely want to share plans with uh, our system members to get them excited about the brand moving forward. We also have uh, two full mornings dedicated to breakout sessions. So we have lots of breakout sessions, lots of content, lots of um, topics that our system members can learn from. We'll hear from partners like uh, WTL, so Where to Live, uh, Doug Thompson, we've got Easter Seals, we have Centum, we have Rob Vivian, we have someone from Korea attending, and of course we have our Chief Technology Officer, Jack Miller, and that's just to name a few, there's still a whole bunch more. And Homania will be making an appearance there as well, the company that I represent too. That's we're definitely great. gonna be there, we're gonna be make sure we're at every conference from here on out, that's that's a yeah. certainty. Excellent. If, if anybody hasn't had the chance to hear Jack Miller speak, um, he, he went to a conference, a couple of conferences I've, I've been to. Um, what a, a wealth of knowledge when it comes to technology, uh -huh. big on the technology and things. He knows exactly what's going on in the industry when it comes to technology. So I was extremely happy to hear that he was, um, he came on as our uh, chief uh, te operating technology officer or something like that. Um, anyway, right. so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's it, heading forward in terms of a technology standpoint. I know Century 21 from going to the conferences. I know and I'm confident of exactly where we're heading. And I, and I hope that gets relayed to all the members across Canada because it's exciting. Yeah, I definitely got that sense last conference too when I heard Jack talk as well. He did have a very solid like, hey, here's where we're at. And here's where we want to go going forward. It was a very clear path. And that's, yeah. I think, something very important as a franchise to have. And it's nice to see that uh, from the corporate level too, that kind of roadmap and that plan for the future as well. And technology is so important too. Um, it's important to stay ahead of the curve uh, because you want to make sure that you do keep that edge against the competition as well. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. So one of my favorite things from last conference, which was in Charlottetown PEI, was the lobster dinner. I can't, I remember there's some special sort of name for it, but the lobster dinner, I was 
absolutely fantastic. I remember they, they came out with just trays full of lobster. I'm not even a big lobster person, but I really yeah. enjoyed it. So is, do we have any sort of special events that you can tell us about at all, Chioko, that uh, we might be having here? Any sort of maybe yeah. West Coast traditional things? Yes, absolutely. And and again, I, I agree with you. The lobster dinner last year was so fun. It was casual. It was kind of, kind of family style format. So it's really, really a lot of fun. Um, so we are going to, of course, because it's our 40th anniversary, uh, we can't go by the conference without having a 40th birthday bash um, in really true West Coast style. And West Coast is kind of like the Atlantic provinces, right? We, we like to have fun. We like to eat, you know, great food, we like to have drinks, we like to dance, and we like to kind of be casual. So it's just going to be a really great time for people to interact uh, with each other and, um, sh you know, share good times and share great food and really dance the night away because we're going to have a, a great Vancouver based band there. So it's really going to be the biggest party ever. I so was, have to come. yeah, I was really yeah. impressed uh, last conference as well. Like just Everyone just got up and started dancing, getting into it. Like they loved the band. Like I, that's something that you rarely see at conferences. They may have a band in the background, but everyone's kind of like just politely looking around, feeling kind of uncomfortable and such. I'm not sure if that speaks to Century 21 sales representatives or just real estate agents in general being kind of those t typical A type personalities. But it was a blast to, to to see it all and interact with everybody as well. Yeah, and I think again, I it was it was so much fun, and I think one of the best moments that I had was when Joel Ives, who is a broker in Charlottetown, um, and he did so many great things for the conference, but he got off the stage and started singing, and he was great. It <laughs> he was, was good. so uh, fantastic. So, yeah, just really, really great times, and we're really looking forward to this year's event. Yeah, for sure. So is there any sort of, like, differences from last year's? Because this is the big 40-year batch. Is there any sort of additional format changes that we might be able to expect? I know you mentioned there are, like, a, a lot of breakout sessions this, this year. Is there anything else like that you might be able to touch on? Yeah, so just to, to touch on too, not only did we, you know, I talked about some of the um, partners and some of the special guests that we're going to have for our breakout sessions, but we will also have, um, you know, our founder and executive chairman, you Gary Charlwood, to give a keynote presentation. We'll also be able to hear from our Century 21 CEO and vice chairman, Martin Charlwood. And then we have some other great keynote speakers like industry icon Tom Ferry, uh, we have real estate legend uh, Stefan Swanepoel, as well as I had mentioned already, of course, um, Rob Vivian, who he is the coach of our C21 Coaching Academy. So that's great. Um, we're going to have, uh, you know, a lot of the same things that we did last year because people really loved them. We have a um, first timer session that's going to be hosted by the Future the Leader Network. Uh, we are going to have our exclusion, uh, exclusive Centurion Mixer, which is by invitation only, but it really you know, has it really gives Centurions an opportunity to 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 mingle and, and network with each other. Um, we have our Supplier Expo, which is absolutely fantastic, which, as you said, Linus, you're going to be part of that Supplier Expo. So we're going to have 25 plus suppliers, as well as, I think, about 35 networking tables. So again, as Aaron alluded to, you know, great opportun opportunity to build your referral network. Um, and then the breakout sessions, and those are really the key things that we have with our conference, a key a kind of area of improvement was um, to add those breakout sessions. People are really looking for content. They really want to walk away from the conference feeling that they can implement, um, you know, ideas and the specific actions in order to build their business in the future. So having those additional breakout sessions, we think are going to be very successful this year. You, you had mentioned that um, the Charwood family would be there. So you, Gary Charwood and, um, and uh, Martin, and, uh, and I've heard them speak before, amazing speakers, but one thing to be proud of, and I really, again, hope, hope everybody gets an opportunity to, and you should be very proud if you're part of the Century 21 system. It really is the only brand that I know, franchise brand that, that has um, like a family that is actually yeah. heading up the company. It's not, we're not, it's, it's not just a, a bank or a, a you know, an accountant, you know, all these accountants that are getting together. Just, this company is owned by, a, it's, a, it's just like a, a family. There's actual faces to the family that you can put to it. And they're very, very smart people and they're great speakers. And um, I've listened to both of them talk before. So it really gives you an opportunity to know that you are part, not just of a Century 21 family, but a real actual family owns this company, <laughs> which is incredible. And you don't see that uh, very often within franchises. So it's really special. Yeah, and you can actually tell that they they both, uh, you Gary and uh, Martin, both care about 
the the yeah. representatives too. Yeah. Like I've talked to them both, shook their hands and everything. I was expecting like you know just a small like little third party <laughs> vendor coming in here, but they're very like friendly, very warm, like very receptive and like very very like humorous and funny too, and very easy to get along yeah. with. So I definitely enjoy my interactions with them too, and it's nice to see something like that at the head of a of a large corporation like this as well. So that's great. Yeah, they're they're just they're wonderful people. Yeah. They live and breathe the brand. Uh, they're so passionate. They're they're such people, people. Yeah. You know, they really they really love the um, you know the franchisees and system members and everything, and they truly do care. So you're absolutely right. They are they are great. Yeah, yeah. we talk about talk about corporate all the time, and I just now I know I do understand now. I used to work uh, even before it was Century Twenty One. I would work for a private company with a person who always invite us up to his cabin and stuff. So it really felt good that you're part of a family, and uh, so it's not like it's corporate. You're actually going to, you know, these the head of the companies are our family. Yeah, yeah and great. if you get a chance to too, go up and and shake that one of the Charlwoods' hands and too, and introduce yourself if you haven't before. Like they're very approachable people too, and and I, I say it could be very, you know, intimidating sometimes to see like the head of your company or the head of your franchise, I guess, uh, at one of these events. But they're they're great people to talk to. So just try and uh, take that few mo- those few moments, and they'll take the few moments for you as well. Yeah, absolutely. So Aaron. Uh, from the last couple of conferences, uh, you've been you've looked at a lot. You've seen a lot of content at these different breakout sessions, mm-hmm. these supplier expo, and everything. Uh, other than the whole like referral network, is there anything else you get out of it? Maybe business development or ideas too? Because I oh, imagine yeah. there's a lot of those kind of coming through conference as well. Absolutely. I mean, some of the uh, speakers, I know Rob Vivian's going to be at the event and we use him as a coach. So he's been uh, amazing in terms of providing great ideas for prospecting and building your business. Uh, I know BombBomb was one of the uh, tech, uh, tech companies that were there at one point that I took away and started using for video blogging. Um, so these are a lot of the uh, breakout sessions that you're going to go through and uh, you know, anything from, and I'm not sure exactly actually uh, which ones are going to be there, but I've taken things about listing presentations and how to, how to hone your skills with uh, some dialogues. And I mean, there's just so much stuff there. So um, those are the type of things, great supplier expo. I mean, you get to see the different technologies and, you know, uh, anything from spotlight program all the way to <laughs> different uh, uh, ways that you can do your business cards, you know, or your, or your signage and stuff like that. So it's, uh, it's always a, so many different takeaways for sure. And, and Linus, if I can add something too, um, you know, if you come with a team or a number of different realtors from your office, I would suggest everybody going to different breakout sessions and then getting back together when everybody gets back into town and really kind of sharing ideas. I think that, you know, versus just you going to certain ones and taking specific ideas back from those sessions that you've seen, but really kind of sharing the ideas of all the breakout sessions because you're you're right, you know, the information is invaluable to system members. So, Joko, is, is it $75 to have, I'm just trying to remember how much it is to have a, um, if you as, a, as an agent or salesperson would like to have a booth at the agent uh, side of, I guess, networking booth, um, how much how much is it this year? It's like, You know what, Aaron, I don't know that information think, off the top okay. of my head. <laughs> I, think, I think the last time I saw it was $75, but regardless, a very inexpensive way to spend some time with a booth. And uh, you can um, you can start network- networking amongst the other realtors. And one of the uh, they have different ideas at each booth. So one of the ideas I really liked from last year was um, there was an agent. Uh, I'm trying to remember her name now. She's she's on one of my boxer briefs, so I'll have to go. And <laughs> check. She was giving away uh, boxer briefs and uh, to all the guys, and she says, you know what? It was just the one way that she was able to get into uh, all the guys' pants at Expo. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I still have. I still have her name on my box. So if I was looking to <laughs> refer somebody to Vancouver, I think she was from Vancouver. I, I would, uh, I would actually uh, look at my boxers to get her information. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's amazing what... what people come up with too. Like <laughs> it, everyone almost has a unique idea. Like you don't see as many just fridge magnets as you used to, right? Like right. everyone has their own kind of unique thing, and it's great too because like. Like Aaron said, I'm sure Aaron probably uses those boxers. And from time to time, we'll look down and we'll see this, this person. If he ever has to send any business over to Vancouver, he'll probably be sending it her way. Uh, uh, that was, might be a little yeah. bit difficult to explain to your wife, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. But yeah, definitely, uh, definitely some interesting ideas uh, coming out of the referral network uh, agents that have their booth set up and everything, too. Absolutely. All right. So before we start concluding the segment, Chuck, is there anything else you want to tell us at all about the conference that we might not have heard of yet or talked about yet? Well, all I can say is that it's a milestone birthday for us. And again, if you haven't come to a conference in a while or have never been, we've got lots of first timers that come, which is great. And um, you have to come to this one because it's a milestone birthday. It's like birthday parties you go to in real life, right? You might not be able to attend every birthday, but you always attend the milestone birthday. So 
please, you know, the, the more people, the merrier. And uh, looking forward to seeing everyone and, and meeting people I haven't met before. So thank you very much. Yeah, if there's one to come to, this is the one, right? Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Yeah. We want to see a, a record number of first timers this year. Absolutely. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's move on to our next segment then, the app of the week. Now, the app of the week this week is paper.li. Maybe they call it Paperly. I don't know. Uh, but it's a news aggregator app that has a pretty interesting twist. I'll let Aaron talk about it because he uses it personally and professionally, I believe. Yes. Uh, so I came across it. Uh, it was actually another agent. So I was networking and came across this great idea. Um, and it is called paper.li. So if you were to type instead of .com, just type in www.paper.li. If you have any problems, just Google it. Um, what it is, is a it's a website-based app. Um, so you'll sign in. And what you can start doing is um, so let me tell you the, uh, the idea, first of all. The idea is that you're going to have an online newspaper. Uh, it's a website, uh, website newsletter, let's say, or a newspaper um, that you can send out by email. You can send it to social channels. You can send out to, um, you can put it on your website uh, as, a, as, a, as an additional page to your, uh, to your website, if you like. Um, the way I use it is um, I, I got the domain wwwreal estate dash news.ca okay so real estate news.ca with dashes in between and if you go to that um, that's my that's my newspaper and it's sent out to my contacts uh, every week on monday you can set it up to send it on uh, daily weekly monthly and uh, what it does is i tell it where to grab information from on the internet about real estate that's the topic that uh, that i chose and uh, so I told it, you know, look on the REM site, the real estate magazine site, look on um, REP magazine. Uh, what else? There's, uh, you know, if anything, anything's mentioned on Facebook to do with real estate, they can grab it from there. Globe and Mail, um, you know, just different places on the Internet that have real estate information. Inman News, um, the, all that. So what I do is I set it up just to take information as it's posted from those sites. And when it takes the information, it compiles a newspaper with all the information about my topic, which is real estate. And uh, I can start moving things around, adding, subtracting, making it my own, customizing. It takes me five minutes every Monday just to look and move things around the way I want it to show. And then it really, it looks like a really professional uh, site that is just about your topic. And it's really cool because I do it for new real estate, but you can do it for other topics too. Yeah, and uh, speaking as someone who subscribes to Aaron's uh, <laughs> little newspaper there, I find it's a very valuable source of information, especially since we started doing this podcast. You have to make sure that we're kind of keeping up to speed on all the real estate topics in the industry. And Aaron's put together a great a kind of aggregation of a bunch of sites, all the hot topics. So instead of having to scour through dozens of web pages, I just go to Aaron's page and, and he sends it to me every week. So I get to see it that way as well. So it's a great way to aggregate your news and keep it all digestible and one one place. And I yeah. do think it is powerful from like a drip campaign type perspective too to send it out to your clients that may be interested in this kind of thing and kind of maintain that relationship because it is valuable content for people that are interested in this kind of thing as well. Yeah. One of the things I use it for too is when uh, when I'm looking for content to put on social channels. So um, information about the market or whatever and just um, you can go to the paper, hit Facebook and it just automatically, that one article in the newspaper gets posted to my site. So it allows me not to have to search all over the internet every week for content to post on my social channels. So it's good for that as well. And it's good for any of the uh, agents across Canada who want to subscribe to that newspaper. You can use it that way. Um, my newspaper that way as well. You just have to hit uh, subscribe. And then when it comes out, you just hit the little Facebook or Twitter or whatever it is. And, and you can post it on your social media channels. So it's great that way. It took 12 episodes, Bear, and finally got a little plug up for himself. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, and on that note, I think we'll just conclude the show. So, but before we do, though, so Chioka, where can we find out more information about the conference? I know you kind of mentioned it before, but maybe we should just go over it one more time. Where can we go? Where where can we register? When should we register? By uh, hotels? Are those booking up fast? I know it's not the same situation as Charlottetown, where there aren't as many uh, hotels. But uh, what what should we be doing, and and how should agents be doing it? Absolutely. So again, agents need to go to uh, www. Century21.ca forward slash CC 
2016, so 2016, so Canada Conference 2016. Um, and definitely register. Um, the, the cutoff date for registration is the end of September. So get in there as soon as possible. It's really important. Um, I'm not quite sure what the bookings look like at the Western Bay Shore, but we've got lots of hotels. It's right down in the downtown core, and there's lots of hotels in the downtown core, you know, minutes walk or you know, a five minute cab drive. So, you know, there's lots of um, opportunity for accommodation here, but definitely, you know, sign up sooner the better, of course, um, because you'll probably get accommodation either in the hotel or close by. Um, but we definitely want to see everyone out this year. For sure. And I guess, yeah, that's a nice thing about having it in Vancouver as opposed to like the PI where Charlottetown right. is smaller. They only have a limited yeah. number of hotels. I remember going there. It felt like Century 21 was taking over the town. Like every yeah. hotel booking seemed to be from a Century 21 sales representative or broker or manager, someone involved in the conference anyways. Uh, so that's, that's great um, and great to hear. Great. So, so uh, if you like the show, subscribe to our show on Stitcher, iTunes, Google Play, or wherever you find your podcasts online. And please don't forget to leave us a five-star review on those sites. It really helps. You can watch this and past shows at spotlight.century21.ca slash podcast. If you need to reach us, you can email us anytime at podcast at homania.com. That's podcast at H-O-M as in Mary, E-A-N as in Nancy, I-A dot com. So this podcast was brought to you by the Spotlight Marketing Program, an exclusive marketing package available only to Century 21 agents in Canada. Spotlight provides agents with a comprehensive internet marketing strategy for their listings. We provide high quality HDR photography, stunning HD video tours, a cutting edge responsive website, and an extensive advertising system that'll help sell your listings faster, sell them for more money, impress your clients, and generate leads. So find out why so many top agents are using Spotlight by visiting spotlight.century21.ca today. Thanks for coming out, Chioko. Thanks, everyone, for listening. We'll see you next week.